All right, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mailspec J here. I'm gonna give you a review of the Beretta 92X Performance, as you can see in the title description. So let's uh, go on and get right into it. All right, here's the box it comes in. You got the locks box. You know, a little keypad lock on it, it's nice. When you open it up. Of course, it didn't come with the mags, the 20 rounders. I had to get these extra. Maggar. If you ever need any extra mags from any brand, any gun, get Maggar. Pretty good mags. It comes with the standard 15 rounders. Not sure why, but right, I should at least give 17 rounders. I think that'd be better if you ask me. And of course, I added the O light. A lot of people talk crap, but these are actually good. They, they work. They work for me. They work pretty good. There's the Beretta. Now the weight to it, it does have some weight. It has a lot of weight to it. Not too bad, but if you're one of those people that complain about weight, you might not like the gun. But for what it is, it feels comfortable in my hand. That fiber optic night sight, smooth shooter. The trigger, trigger is amazing. The mag was on the other side. Moved it to this side because I'm a lefty. I like how the, the safety is on the frame, like a 1911, instead of being on the slide. So like I said, yeah, here's the two mags, 20 rounders. They run flawlessly, 15 rounder. Real quick, dummy round, so snap caps, and two with gun is clear. Empty. All your safety snobs. So here it is again. It's the Beretta. It comes with another set of grips. The stupid key lock. I don't think nobody uses this. I never do. You just chunk them. The keys for uh, just the trigger pull. Which the trigger is already amazing as it is. Extra set of grips to wrap around. I prefer the more slimmer. Um, gives it more. Smaller grip. I do have large hands compared to normal people, but like I said, I like prefer these. The stippling on it is great. The serrations in the back and the front, it really is in your hand. But the grip panels might change them. They're too smooth for my liking. I want to like something more with more texture on it. Like the Smith & Wesson M&P, the compact, perfect. It's nice. It's like, I like the more aggressive feel because I can feel like it's locked in my hand. Because if it's sweating, you can feel some slippage out of it. But it's empty, like I said, so I'm scared I'm not flagging nobody. But yeah, this is a great gun. It's expensive, but for the money, it's worth it. Always been a big fan of Beretta. Beretta's one of my favorite, favorite the 9-2, especially the 9-2. It's a, it's a great gun, great gun. Um, was that a, always, I had a Beretta 92 before. I had the 96 and 40 cal as well. I even had the Taurus 9-2. Taurus 9-2 is, to me, if you can't have a Beretta, go with the Taurus. It, that's great, great, great firearm. Nothing, nothing but good remarks on that gun. I highly recommend that one. That was my go-to was the Taurus 9-2. I actually preferred it over the Beretta just because of the safety. I liked it how it was better on the frame than on the slide, like I said. But yeah, this one, it's smooth. The weight, when you shoot it, it helps control with recoil. So it's you it's hardly even noticeable. And the, like I said, again, the trigger, it's too smooth, too smooth. You might've seen it in other videos, me and the gun bros shooting it. You know, they like it as well. And you, it's that trigger. I think the trigger is one of the highest seven points. The weight on it, you really can, you know, you can move fast with it. Pick up with that fiber optic, you pick up real fast on your target. But yeah, so you're in the market for it, I would say go for it. Then just be ready to pay that price. I know there is another model where you can add the red dot, but I wouldn't want that. I like how this one has the rail. Let's see. Attaches that easy. What would be nice now just to get a holster that's made for it, that'll fit the light. And one thing I do say about the O-Lights, if you do leave them on for a little bit, they do heat up. That is true, they do get sort of hot, but not bad. 
just make sure to watch it and you're good but yeah got plenty more videos coming up this is just a quick review on the 92x still gonna put more rounds through it you know break it in before i made this review i just wanted to shoot it before you know let y'all know what i think so i could put some rounds through it me and the gun bros you know trying to break it in but yeah it's nice i like the tone on it i would have liked the more grayish stainless look this one has a unique finish uh the look to it to the finish it's like an inox but not as not as silver not as grayish but yeah other than that it, it's a, for this beretta it's a win so let me know what y'all think in the comments be sure to like subscribe if you ain't subscribed yet because i got plenty more stuff coming out i got that video collection people want to see and i'm real good with that bake light that's what people want to see the bake lights how to how to do it and oh let me know what you think down in the comments like it like i said and with that being said do the best you can with what you have where you are today and i'm out